<laughs> hey everybody, it's Brett from More Guitars here in Evansville, Indiana. Moreguitars.com and more music. I am here sitting in front of a Mesa Boogie California Tweed combo and I must say that this thing rages. I mean, it, it is, um, it's very, very, very loud and I like it. There's some things that it does absolutely wonderful. There's some things that it doesn't do so great, but I think there are ways to make every wattage on this thing sound killer for whatever application. And there are a lot of different applications for this, despite the small and easy to use front panel. Now, you can overcomplicate this amp real quick by thinking about all the, the different settings of this multi-watt um, knob here. But what I like to do is just like, okay, I heard about it, now I'm going to forget about it and find my tone. You know what I mean? I'm going to learn what the different settings are, what different classes it puts the amp in, and then I'm going to forget about it after I learn what, what and why that happens. But because uh, it's just it's kind of like, OK, I can understand that stuff, but I really just like to get into the way it sounds. So what I'm going to do is take you through what the amp does, what it has, and then uh, we'll go through a bunch of different tones and uh, hear that. And I will have Larry uh, put the time up here somewhere where the uh, the where the actual playing comes in. So if you want to skip right to that. After he gets it edited, he'll put the time up there for you. Right, Larry? Right. So uh, let's, uh, let's get into this thing. So obviously has gain, treble, mid, bass, presence, master, reverb, and then uh, so those, we're going we're gonna to bypass all those. Uh, I'll come back to the gain knob here in just a little bit and what it does for each of these uh, settings. But um, I'm going to get into this multi-watt knob right here. And what this does is it it not only cranks back the wattage, okay, which obviously makes the amp play differently and better possibly at, at uh, lower volumes, um, it changes the tone of the amp a little bit. So, and some people say it's very subtle, some people will say it just smacks you across the face, the tone difference, but I, I'm, I'm kind of t uh, the idea that it's, it's subtle and it's tasty. So it's not, it's not a big drastic thing. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you about the wattages. So 40 watts is all four of these 6v6s running in pentode, okay? Whenever you switch to 30 watt, it's switching it to two of them in pentode and two of them in uh, diode, or sorry, triode, sorry. And then whenever you go to uh, the 20 watt, that's when it goes down to two of them only, okay? And they are in AB pentode. So this whole amp all the way from, uh, sorry, I was a little unclear there, 10 watts all the way up is all uh, a class AB, okay? So we're gonna, gonna kinda get back to the 20 watt thing here. So 20 watt is class AB in pentode, and then 10 watt is two of the 6v6s running in class AB in triode, okay? So whenever you go into the uh, the two watt version of this beauty, it uh, go, it's still got two amps going, but it's single ended where one's in triode and one's in pentode. So uh, if you want to read about that, there's actually if you want to understand the different classes of uh, tubes and the 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 modes of operation they're in, you can go on and you can read what is written on the Mesa Boogie website. There's a whole page dedicated to it and it explains it in somewhat simple terms. You've got to be kind of open-minded because of uh, it's very complicated and there's circuitry involved and that makes me crazy. So uh, anyway, so went through those. So what I'm going to do now, and this is kind of, this is uh, maybe not the coolest thing in the world, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave everything the same and I'm going to just play a couple chords or something in each in, in each wattage so you can hear what happens whenever the gain is at like 10 30 and the master's way up okay so i'm going to try to be careful not to blow out our preamp on our microphone here so uh so here's 40 watts at uh, at this setting <laughs> Forty watts. So that is forty watts. Here is thirty watts. Twenty-five 
20 watts. I like that. Ten watts. Mm. You can really hear the gain kind of coming in there now. So it stayed pretty clean. It got a little bit dirty here on 10 watts. And 10, about 20 on up. You like that? So it stays pretty clean. It was, you know, it breaks up, but it's not getting that gainy distortion sound. So let's take this thing down and gain. Start at two watts. And then let's just, now that the gain's controllable pretty much everywhere, let's run through them, okay? I might have to bump this two watt setting up because it might not be intelligible. Is that the right word for that? So, uh, is that enough signal, Larry? Ten watts. A little bit of funky playing now. Twenty watts. So there, you've been through a little bit higher gain, a little bit lower gain, and uh, you can hear the tonal differences. Can you hear it, Larry? Yeah. So I'm going to retune this. All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to go into the humbucker mode of this thing so we can get a little bit more output out of the guitar, and uh, I'm tempted to say that we'll probably do it, it'll be a little more fun in the higher gains here. So. Uh, Let's, uh, we're going to start on 40 watts. I'm going to play some open kind of chords and then maybe some bar chords, maybe a little noodling on each one and you can kind of hear what each one does. like five guitars today for these demos and I got to learn the different fret heights so I got to slow down a little bit
I'm gonna add a tube screamer to that for a second. Fun. Twenty watt, no tube screamer. Oh, I'm not going to do that, I said. Tube screamer. I dig that. Tube screamer. Man, it really sounds good like that. Sounds cool. So here's two watts. Um. And you really have a hard time getting the, the gain out of that. There it is. If you want a true uh, apartment amp, this is your one. This is the one. So I, intend, I know Larry's probably thinking I'm crazy for even playing at that, at that volume level, but I think it's good there for you to hear like the difference from 10 to, from 10 to two. All right, so one thing that this, this amp obviously does well is it plays nice with pedals, which is really cool because that's what a lot of a lot of people buy these things for a lot, you know, buy these type of amps modeled after the old ones because they want just the basic richness and greatness of that tone. But then they they want to run some pedals through it. So what I've done is this thing uh, has a an effects loop in the back, and that's what I have a, uh, I've got a, just a simple Boss DD3 digital delay running through it. And I'm gonna play some clean tones on the different settings and just let you hear what this thing sounds like. It is lush, it feels good, sounds good, and I'm kind of putting it together with a little bit of reverb from the amp. And uh, this, and, and I mean, this, the reverb on this thing is intense. So you, you know, it's, it's, it adds a lot. I mean, this thing is at like, 742 in the morning over here and it's still pretty hot okay so let's go through a few tones on uh with just a little bit of reverb and some delay <laughs> Thank you. 
So here we are in 30 watts. Uh, same, all the, all the same amp settings, DD3, 30 watts. in the lush reverb. This is 20 watts. So here's 10 watts. Pretty nice. And two watts. So that's basically what I wanted to show you. I wanted to let you hear the, uh, the tone of the amp with, all the, with a, a nice sounding reverb, not too crazy, but, uh, or sorry, nice sounding delay. Um, and then, uh, so now you've kind of heard the whole amp through and through. What my, I guess kind of my pros and cons of this amp are that you really have to play it loud to, to kind of get inspired from it at those higher levels, okay, which is, I understand, which is why you build different wattages. You do multi-watts. So I'm just telling you, if you're wanting that really crazy good headroom, um, you got to bust, you got to crank, you got to put it in 40 watts or maybe 30 watts can get you there, but you got to crank it. I mean, you, you, to get a good, you get a good rich tone and you're really driving those tubes. So, you know, you can, you can put it in the 10 or the 2 watt and get the same results pretty much. You know, obviously we're changing pinto to triode and you can tell the differences there, but you can get a really good, great, quiet sound out of this thing and uh, struggle to get a little bit clean toward those bottom wattages. So um, probably going to have to do some trickiness there. But, uh, but this amp, I mean, this is, I, I, I want to say like revolutionary but it's got the old tones in it. I mean, it's just, it's, it's got it. I mean, that dude out there at Mesa Boogie knows what he's doing. So uh, that is the Mesa Boogie California Tweed. And this is the combo version. There's a head version and with a, a good, a great cabinet. That thing is crazy. So anyway, Mesa Boogie California Tweed. It is loaded with six V6s and it has, uh, I think, five 12AX7s and a single 12AT7. And that one runs the tube driven reverb, which is a, this thing has got a monster reverb tank in it. So um, from all of us here at moreguitars.com, please leave your questions in the comments or you can call us better yet or email us or chat with us. We're always there to work out an amazing deal for you, um, to tell you specs, to take you through it. We'll do an in-hand inspection with anything you want. 
and we're here to help. So right now, take the 22 seconds that it takes to go to moreguitars.com and sign up for our email list because you're going to get daily arrivals. You're going to get the best deals out of any guitar shop in the country, and uh, we're here to help, okay? So you can call, email, chat, like I said before, but... Um, most importantly right now, since you're back from signing up on that uh, on our web page, click subscribe here, click the notification thing to make sure you get notifications for when we put new videos out, and uh, please give us a call for anything you need, moreguitars.com. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>